I'm usually optimistic, but that's not gonna be fine. We're in the shop. I guess this is kind of a good day, it's kind of a bad day, all at the same time. The tow truck motor, as you just seen on our last video, it is not happy. use this thing all the time we got to get it running what you're looking at here is a 2015 Chevrolet Camaro motor 62 6.2 liters we are going to pull this thing all apart we've got all the parts over there to take all the junk off of it that we don't need and then we have a three liter Whipple charger that is gonna go on the top of that. It's gonna be fun, we gotta get going and get this thing handled. We'll get all the parts stacked out here, we'll get the tranny off of this. Probably not gonna bore you with a lot of that parts and stuff, just a uh, time lapse maybe of us tearing it apart. So here we go. All right, yeah. so, yeah. So basically, the reason we're tearing this apart is the same reason we did Michelle's Jeep's remoter, because it has this on it, right here. This stuff, I don't like it. I like to know when I have a V8 that all eight cylinders are hitting all the time. This shuts a few of them off. So we've gotta change this, we gotta change valve springs, the cam, the lifters, the push rods, all that stuff's getting changed. So this is called active fuel management. Just shut cylinders off, turns an eight cylinder into a four cylinder. We're getting rid of it. We're getting somewhere, wiring harness is off. We've got a few lines to deal with. I don't know how to get this water line out of that block right there, but then we, we won. Now we can pull the tranny off front and we start tearing it clear apart, so. Well, now if we just had it done, we could put it in the tow truck. Well, now we gotta put it on an engine stand, we gotta change oil pan, and all that other stuff that I talked about inside, so. Those two go right there. All right, we got her hanging. Now we can go through it and see what we can make a motor out of it. Got that green box with the damper pulley remover in it. Pull that off the front. Tough, Hunter? Not very tough today. Where are we going? Yeah, I want to clean it off. Yeah. Yeah, right Chuck those. We got us some fan mail today from Wyatt. He says, Paul, you are cool. I'm your biggest fan. Thank you, man. He even likes you, Hunter. Really? Hunter. Oh, let's go. You are a man. <laughs> Did no he matter. say? <laughs> Did he you really are say a that? Man. You are a man. Sean, you are smart. Hey. I'm not an idiot. Look at Hunter, that. you are a man, my friend. I'm a man. <laughs> so, thank you, Wyatt. We love we love our little fans. He sent us a, a Fab Rats thing, and we got another one from Owen. Paul, watch your videos. Hunter, you are Spider-Man. Heck yeah. No. Sean, you are a good worker. Jace, <laughs> you have a good truck. Like, <laughs> That's cool. You're Spider-Man too, man. Thank you guys. 
All right, it's morning, we're back at it, trying to get this motor built today. But we found a scratch right here on this head. I'm trying to decide how big of a deal it is. I don't want it to leak water. This is a water port, this is a head bolt, and I don't want it to leak into the head bolt and we have problems. So we're trying to decide what we're gonna do. If we get it surfaced, we're basically three days from getting it done. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. We're we're contemplating. We're cleaning it all up, making sure that's the only problem we got, and we'll go from there. All right, that's about what it is. We'll swap valves and call it good. So LS heads are they're terribly soft, so we'll put some of this stuff on it. Merlin's telling us paint. I don't know what we're gonna do. I trust him, but not that much. All right, we are putting this thing together, so. New valve seals. Let me show you what we got going here. Putting a cam in it. So we're putting new springs. Old springs, new springs. These are doubled, more RPMs, better sealing, all that stuff. It's kind of a tedious process. Basically, you do one at a time so it goes back in the same hole. This is basically just so that this valve has some lube on it the first time. All right, one of 16 done. So we'll go through, get the rest up. You can see the difference in them there. Pretty substantial here. So we'll get them all swapped out and then throw a cam in it. We'll slather them up good and put the gaskets up and put it all back together. All right, we just found a problem with this head. I collapsed the spring. The tip of the valve fell off, which it was gonna fall off regardless. You can see that it was already broke part of the way around, which is not good. So now I gotta go find another valve like this one. Let's go on treasure hunt. We're doing a little exploratory surgery. As far as I can tell, that's the same valve out of a 6.0. We'll go clean it up, probably grind the valve, we'll put it in. Disaster averted, right? For now. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Way to be optimistic, Hunter. All right, so the valve that we just went out and got is not going to work. It's the same length, but if you notice, that much difference in size. Everything's right, other than it's just not big enough around, so... We'll order some. All right, Hunter went to lunch. <clears throat> So while he was gone, we built half of the motor that we could build. We will have, I talked to Chad on the phone and we found three valves. I only need one, but we found three of them in Salt Lake. They will be here tomorrow when UPS shows up. So basically our plan for this is we're gonna put front cover, the oil pan, the valve cover on this side, cover it up, push it in the corner and start tearing the motor out. So we'll do that. All right, this is a little trick that you really need to pay attention to on an LS motor. So there's no dowel pins that center this front cover on. So if you don't push the balancer in and get it centered in the sill, it can wear one side or the other. So push it in, get it centered, and tighten it down. I'm gonna blow your mind here in a second, Hunter. Yeah. Torque wrench. <laughs> wow. It's like you care about this motor or something. I know, right? Just if we had a valve, we'd be we'd be done. Yeah, a whole bunch of torque and stuff. Don't get used to it, people. I'm not gonna continue it. All 
All right, we've done all we can do on the motor today. It's time to pull the truck in and get it gutted. just drive it right it'll be fine right Whoa, i'm usually optimistic but that's not gonna be fine <laughs> that's gonna develop oh there's hardly anything we have to take <laughs> off to get to that this is where you're like all right boys well i have to head to the canab now <laughs> like michelle said <laughs> i'm off to canab so you guys just <laughs> if you could just have that right here when i get back that'll be great in any means necessary? No, oh, no. All right. We need all these parts back. Holy oh, cow. So first off, we're going to lift it up and drain the coolant, radiator, engine oil, power steering. That one's probably going to make a mess. Once those are all drained, we'll set it back down because we got to have this empty anyhow. It was pretty... Pretty black at first and medley, but now that it's running, it looks it looks pretty good. I don't know. It'll be interesting to tear it apart. got the oil filter off of it. I think we're gonna cut this thing open and see what's inside of it just for giggles. Hunter likes giggles. It's not like I have a whole bunch of money into this motor or anything and I want to cry basically right now but it's fine. This is way easier. Remember last time when I cut my finger yes, and things went sideways quick on me? She's deep. Oh she's we haven't beat the blood. This seems way easier. I mean, I'm not into it yet. <laughs> you bought the right tool after you cut I your did. finger. You lose enough blood and you will spend the $4 on Amazon that it costs to buy that tool. I'm in. All right. A little shiny in there. I'm not seeing stuff in the oil that makes me really, really nervous. So it's a top end problem, but I can't have a tow truck that's not dependable and reliable. Motor's coming out. We're going LS power just because of its re reliability. This big block will fix it. We'll put it in something else. Maybe we'll uh, put it in Landon's junk truck that's always broken. It's already out. been in there once. Oh, that's right. This motor's got a curse on it, doesn't it? So this rocker fell off, was running on the valve. So I ordered some new ones. We tear it apart and we find this. There's another one broke right there. We're ls in it and we don't have to worry about the curse no more, so. No, nothing concerning in the oil filter though. We'll, we'll dig deeper once the motor's out. I think bell housing's off. Let her down and get the top ones. One header bolt left. We are we are off. And that makes it so you can get your header or your yeah. motor mount bolts out. Perfect. You get those off, we'll hook a crane around that thing and, er, 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 and set it on the ground. Got him. We got one. The other side. I'm going in. I'm going to take 47 extensions off and get close. 
Turn off. And out. Nailed it! What else is there? Dude, I don't know. We're about to, we're yeah, about to know. All right, I didn't think one year later we'd be undoing what we were working so hard to get done last time. But motor is just, I think it's all unbolted sitting here. We're gonna hook a strap around the intake, get the crane after it and see if we can tug this thing up out of here. Thank you. Oh, you didn't get that bolt out, Hunter. No wonder it's that is kicking. I thought my you chin. did it. No. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, you missed one. Yeah, that's that's our problem right yeah. now. Nope. Right here. Oh yeah, that one. That one's the that one's doing her. That would be why. That's tightening it. Yeah, let me go the other way. Lefty Lucy. Hunter's going to have this. Oh my gosh. I, I'm not even doubting you, man. I think you really do have it. I don't think so, dude. I think you got it. I don't know. You really do. What bolt? The motor mount bolt? You still got a lot left. Well, so do you. Hey, maybe I could like finger loose. No. Nope. Hoping. It's, it's too tight. Okay. <laughs> I got it. All right. <laughs> motor, mount. motor mount. That's a lot. <laughs> we have got more sawdust. Get some more. I feel like you should get baseball bats and beat that motor down. Roadkill already did that. Yeah. I'm, I'm fixing this motor. I'm gonna win. I will not let this big block beat me. Pull her forward just a scope, man. Don't get under it in case it decides to kill us. You need a block or anything? Dynamite? <laughs> just kidding. I don't harbor ill filling or ill feelings to this thing. Oh, yeah, we're gonna need it. Right get it out of a four by four. Oh. Not right there. Got it? Yeah. Grab a big rag, stuff in that intake. Okie dokie. Yeah, it should pop loose, I think. Oh. Maybe not. Anything out of the ordinary, different. Okay, so it's out that side. Let's go. Oh, in. No, it's not no, it, It's huffing in. through the through the intake. It's a. Uh, it's definitely valve chain of some sort. Holy. Oh yeah, God. there's the problem. Broke a frickin' guide plate. Stuck a valve open. That is just insane. I think it's fine. I don't know what you're smoking, but it's not fine. How'd it do that? Broke this guide plate. Put that back. All right. Well, we know what happened to the old girl. So basically, our options were to tear the heads off of this, buy new heads, and put them on that, and cross our fingers that that's what was going on, and it was fine. Or we could build an LS motor, put it in there, and know that it's fine. That's what we're doing. With the supercharger. With the supercharger. I think this is the parts we've been waiting for today. Let's see. Oh yeah. GM genuine parts. We are in the chips, boys. Let me see. It's 
Christmas. It's a Christmas That's it. We'll put that valve in it. See the parts that are different? One of these is not like the other. Found junk. That's good. Are you sure you want the right one away? I got three or two more. Oh. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> All right. Look at that. That's way better, right? The last of the last right here. That's because I put him to work today. He was doing real live work. Hey. Stop. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's Doesn't gonna matter chat. what I say. They're just gonna. Sorry. They're just gonna do what they do in the background, people. I do need some relaxed yeah. Those. Okay. Got it. Was that a bad face I was making? Felt like it probably was. Okay. Heads are built. Bolt it on. We'll put a motor together. With any luck, we'll have it done tonight. 410. 410, we'll have her done by six. Ready to go in. You better knock on some wood right now. Because you always say that. Don't you have stuff to do somewhere? <laughs> Then down. That thing is like lifting a motor. I like it. Looks like there's some bolts that we still got to put in it here. It's not all bolted together. I wonder. We might ought to read some instructions. Yes, we will. Do you have any concerns or anything about- I have some concerns that the drive system that this is requiring me to run is not gonna fit between my shock towers. Click, click. I do that to make myself feel better. Yeah. I think knowing that I torqued it. My internal torque wrench clicking. All right, we've slaved for a couple of days. We pulled old motors out, we built new motors. She's ready. The motor is ready to go in, but we have run out of daylight. It's quitting time, so it's all we're gonna get done today. But next time, you'll hear it run, so thanks for watching. So Paul just informed me that somebody came down to the shop to give me a tailgate for the Jeepster. So that's amazing. We've got Sylvester here. It's easy to remember because yeah. he's got the Sylvester shirt, right? Sylvester the cat. <laughs> and I just told him. So now we've I'm... got cats and rats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cats and rats. But I just told him, I'm like, you kind of look like Santa and you just gave me one of my presents I was looking for. You put it out on YouTube. Yeah. And I watched all the movies like that. And he says, I need a tailgate. I, I have a tailgate from an old one I took apart. And so I went out there and shook it up. It's got a little bit of rust in it, but it's better than that one. Oh yeah. The little emblem was missing on the side of the door, uh -huh. and I had saved the emblems from the old one I had. Oh. So you have an emblem, the, the Jeep will be almost original. That's amazing. So we brought it down. And he brought it down from about four-ish hours away. So this is like an eight-hour trip for him. So thank you so much. That You're is welcome. so awesome. So, I haven't even seen it yet. I gotta go check it out. You guys need to thank Sylvester in the we'll comments. Out here and we'll yeah, let's check it out. out. So then Look an old at man, that. I would use like you. I, I built something spots. like this. Yeah, but it's got way less. Her whole, the whole bottom hey, of hers is rusted yes. off. Yeah, well, this thing is 53 so. years old. Oh yeah. You know, and that's cool. And, and the thing is, there, there's no ding on the edges. All the edges are straight yep. right there. So. Oh, it's it's in way better shape than hers. We got the best viewers in the world. Hers, rotten. 
This one, a little bit, but not bad. Pretty good. I love what you did for Halloween. You got the bus and you got yeah. the lean out there. And there and <laughs> that was there. super fun. See, I said the emblem right That's there. That's awesome. Which, which belongs right there. And so, oh, look, look at that. that. It says a V6, but then you keep it all original. I love it. Uh, Thank you, Sylvester. Yeah, you are welcome. Well, it's been nice Thank to you guys home. so Let's much. Get... Drive home safely. We got the best fans in the world. We really do. It's pretty cool. So I'm getting pretty excited about this. Obviously the tow truck had to take precedence, which I'm totally fine with because we use it all the time and we use it for our business. It needs a motor. Sometimes things have to take a little bit more priority and I'm totally fine with that. This has already gotten started. We're gonna go pick up the frame real soon and you guys will see that. So thanks for watching.